What's good, y'all? Sans, we back with another one, man. Yo, Ak is having a tough time of it. He said NBA young boy Dirk was cool. Twitter reflects NBA young boy goes live that that's not the case. He says something about the Rollo paperwork being fake, that Rollo stood tall. That's turning out not to be all the way true. And now we have P from QCP, Migos, all that good stuff that he told. Me. But where's the paperwork? Let's get to the content. We'll evaluate it afterwards. Let's go. Pete, the owner of QC, cooperated. This is ridiculous. I keep telling you that this whole snitch thing is like a scarlet letter. Now, I love P, and P has been a great guy. I told you, despite the issues with me and Lil Baby, P reached out to me. We actually talked, or not really talked, but like we were supposed to get on the phone and talk. And I would have imagined that through talking, you know, maybe me and the me and little baby's issues would probably get put on the table. Hopefully we could come to some resolution. You know, because at the end of the day, like, yeah, you know, right? So, um, yeah, but now this page is talking about P. They're like, oh, P's a cooperant. And and, and if you read some of this shit, it's kind of crazy. Um, P's name is like Piers Thomas, but you're gonna read certain shit in here. And it's like, uh oh, where according to Thomas McClinton retrieved a black da 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 from the vehicle and chased Thomas in the back and says, I'm gonna kill you, da da da. Um, Thomas made a written statement to the effect. <sighs> Bro, I'm telling you, the snitch shit is just like it. When I, when I mean, snitch is like people accusing people of telling is just like too much. Look. Retrieved whatever, whatever. I'm gonna kill you. He made her whatever, whatever. When asked about it, da, 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 da. there's another piece of work that says, or a piece of paper that says he identified himself as Thomas or Pierre Thomas, which would be P. He stated that he came to the apartment to meet with his friend Q and bet on the game. He said the male entered the front door and began shooting at Q. He stated that he ran towards the back of the apartment and went crashing out the backslide door. Then he crawled over to the neighbors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, so they're trying to say P is a cooperative. Look, Mr. Thomas said that the guy shot several times and turned around the gun on him and the guy starts shooting, blah, blah, blah. By the way, I know everybody says P is a street dude, but like I know him as an executive. But obviously, a lot of people in Atlanta say he's a street nigga. So I guess that's why like everybody's saying, oh shit, what's going on here? Like this is why I'm glad I'm not into this type of fuckery and like proving who's a snitch or not. 1090 Jake gotta go handle this type of stuff because like yo, 1090 Jake, you go look into these things. I don't wanna look into these things because there's so much pressure. Like a lot of people like P, like, and then let's say if there was something that's real, you know, people gonna be like, whoa, what what's what's the Migos gonna say about it? What's what's uh, um I don't know if they're going to say the Yachty, but they're going to be like, what, what, what's some little baby going to say? Bro, this whole little thing about trying to find all the snitches in hip hop is just a witch hunt that's always going to end bad. Because, again, it doesn't take into context where people are in their lives that cops could also lie, that people could write whatever down on these statements. So it's going to be like trying to outroot or root up all of these people who have sometimes not even been trying to portray gangsterism in music. They're just trying to work as regular humans but now we're holding them all to the standard of who's a snitch or not so that's what i'm saying let tonight jake handle that okay l l let me address this real quick um my boy that was it. so here go the well. thing so i did my research right so i'm researching i'm researching i'm researching i'm digging i'm digging i'm digging trying to see what's going on and what it is and what it ain't right so i'm doing my research Cause I'm like, okay, first of all, let's start with is this RP, right? Because like, you know, you go look at Rollo, it's going to say, it, it identify him, whoop, whoop, then Rollo, right? Um, somebody else's paperwork we was looking at, it identified them as named and it had quotations, what we, what a moniker is, right? Or whatever, right? So I'm looking, and I'm looking at the year. Okay, quality control was up. Hannah Montana was moving, right? So at that time, he had a big enough name to be identified, right? So I'm like, okay, well, is this, uh, what's the name, Pierre Thomas? Is this Pierre Thomas QCP, 
right? I'm looking at telling myself they got a bunch of breaks in paperwork. Where's it just to complete, right? I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it. And then I, when I run into, this is when I really stopped looking at it. I ain't gonna lie, right? I, when I run into this dude, uh, whoever the shooter dude was supposed to be, supposed to be, was it McIntosh or McClinton, right? Uh, and Terjus McClinton. So I'm like, all right, this must be locked up. Let me see if he didn't say something or release something to identify that this Pierre, uh, this Pierre Thomas, right? Is that the name they got in there? Is it Pierre Thomas? Yes. All right, if this Pierre Thomas is in fact QCP. So I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm digging. And I run into this dead. Ain't never been to court date, nothing. This, right? Yeah, he dead, right? So I'm like, well, when this die? It wasn't, did, did he go to jail and die? Did he die? Wasn't no court proceeding. So now I'm like, okay, well, now I'm sitting here thinking. If this person right here was that person that owns that company that was already that moving at the time, and he supposed to did this and he was involved and this come up dead, it would have been something around allegations or accusations of, did he do it? But I run into a straight dead end. Nothing there. Bro, make sure you go dig and make sure you identify who's who because whoever the that's supposed to got told on Never made it to court. He dead. I don't even know if a arrest warrant was served, if the was booked. Not he ain't here. I don't know if he died from a car crash. I don't know if he I don't know if he had cancer. I don't know. Was he Nick, dead before the paperwork supposedly had came out? Th this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like, no, because you can't snitch on the dead man because yeah. the dead man is the who allegedly got snitched on. You understand what I'm saying? So right. I'm like, okay, he's supposed to got told on where the court date and what happened. No proceedings, no nothing, because it never was a court date. He never made it to a court date. He got killed, right? So then I'm like, okay, P high profile. So if that was the case, right, and this all of a sudden just come up dead, and they saying, he was cooperating with the police. They're going to be like, well, we need to look into you because we know who you are, right? And, you know, you're capable, right? But you you see nothing. It's just gone. So now I'm asking myself, is this Robert Jones or Pierre Thomas or, or uh, Anthony Jackson? Is this the same individual? Right? And I can't find nothing that identifies this individual, right? Um, this individual um, is, in fact, this guy, right? Like, when we pull up 21 Savage, it says his weird name. Like, he got a UK name. And then it says 21 Savage, a.k.a. 21 Savage. QCP been QCP day one. By the time this happened, this was already gone. QC was gone. Hannah Montana was popping. Migos was the hottest urban black group in the world. So if something like this would have happened like that, the case got thrown out. Okay, here we go. Mm. So the case thrown out. So this is their legend. They said QCP, they said that's him that's telling, giving details. So for a case get it thrown out, either one or two things happen because I've had a case thrown out on me. It's a DA reject. I can't see a DA reject. Take if WAC 100 give a statement, your ass going to jail, bro. They're going to say my word holds some credibility and some weight. They're going to say that. If I ever told his ass going to jail, they're going to say, Beast, I'm a reliable what? Source. That's a reliable source. He's a known this, known that, known this, known that. Right? So, that's what me up is the dead end I kept running into. 
All right, y'all. I don't know what's going on because we seen Ag break down the takeoff, the young thug, almost like he worked for them people. And so for him to be falling short on these last three reports in a row, it makes you wonder what's going on because he's usually on point because he know he's going to get scrutiny because he, he always claims he's going to tell it like it is. So I'm not sure what's going on, if it's a content thing or lack thereof. He's spicing it up. I don't want to speculate, but as more comes out, we'll definitely bring it to you. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, The Answer, man. We out till next time.